So today we are gonna be making a photo journal, which looks something like this. So this craft is super easy and quick to make. If you just have additional stock paper laying around, all we need is stock paper, yarn, and your photos. So let's get started. So for this craft, we're gonna need some stock paper, your photos. So these prints are the perfect size. They're wallet size and you get four of them in our four by six prints from Free Prints. And they're the perfect size to put in your little photo journal. So you have a X-Acto knife and some scissors and a needle punch. So first off, we're gonna start off with our stock paper. We have five pieces here that we're gonna cut into eight by five size rectangles, but you can do any size you want. I just think eight by five makes for a cute, tiny little photo journal. So we're gonna cut them down. All right, so I usually like to layer a couple pieces of stock paper, just as a little shortcut, save some time. There we go. And so now that we have all of our stock paper sized, got mine in eight by five, I'm going to get some clips that I have here and we're going to fold it in half so that it looks like a little book like this. And on each side, as we open it up, we are going to clip in the papers using these little mini clips so that it stays in place as we begin to add our holes. So there's two ways of making the photo journal. You can either thread it and have a little binding on the inside, or you can hole punch it. So to bind this one, we are going to hole punch three holes. I'm gonna get one in the middle, one on the bottom, and one on the top. And then we're gonna grab some yarn and thread it through. And then so I start off with the, in the middle and pull it through from the top and then put that back in the middle. And then we're gonna go on to the bottom. And then it should meet right in the middle. I usually like to double knot it to reinforce that. So what I did here was I uh, put my yarn starting from the middle. I looped it up to the top and then put it back down in the middle again. And then with the other side, I looped it on to the bottom and then uh, put it back into the middle, and then where the two ends meet in the middle in, on the back, um, that's where I tied it. And then now we just cut off the excess, remove the clips, and you should have a photo journal ready for photos. So now we're just gonna add our cute little border on the very end of our book, and we are going to measure piece of paper as so. This is about like three fourths of an inch. Get our X-Acto knife. Cut that strip and we're gonna get a 
hot glue gun and glue that right there. So now that we have our hot glue gun warmed up, we are gonna get the backing and glue that right onto the back of the photo journal. Hold it all together. So now that we have our backing on the, our photo journal, we're ready to glue some of our free prints photos right onto the photo journal and start putting stickers and decorating so that we can display our nice photos in our cute little photo journal. So this is a photo of my dog, Mac. He is the light of my life. And I want him displayed on the cover because he is just the cutest and I love him so much. So we're gonna put that. Okay, and we also have a super cute background too. So I think I'm gonna cut off half of this rock right here. There we go. And that's what our cover looks like now with just our free prints photo. And what I usually like to do is I like to get some stickers and make it look super decorative. So now that we have our free prints photo on there, we are gonna just doodle away, add some cute little illustrations, some outlines, whatever you want to personalize it. You can also get some stickers I'm grabbing this text sticker that says, I'm happiest with you, and placing that right on the photo because I'm happiest with my dog. And that's what our front looks like now. It's a cute little photo, and I'm super excited to use my photo journal to display all sorts of cute pictures with, of Mac. So now that we've finished our um, cover, we can go ahead and decorate our, the inside of the photo journal to your heart's desire, add as many stickers, add as many photos. Um, this is yours to completely personalize 100%. And it's such a fast little craft. It's perfect for all of your little free prints photos that are wallet sized. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make your own DIY photo journals. These are so fun and easy to make. It takes only a few minutes. So yeah. These are the perfect crafts, perfect to do for any kind of occasion. Holidays, you can make one for your pet, you can make one dedicated to your family, any trips. A very cute way to display all of your photos and a fun craft to do too. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching how to make your own DIY craft photo journals. You can make more crafts right over here and watch these lessons. And yeah, continue making cute little crafts like this and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.